Hey, I'm Nick Supic with ERA Meridian Real Estate. We're here today in Monroeville on a brand new uh, foreclosure listing. Uh, it happens to be a HUD property. We're gonna take you inside here, give you a look around. Coming in the door here, uh, we're gonna show you the kitchen, what some options you have. There's no appliances in here, so first thing you're gonna have to buy appliances if you wanna be the one to occupy this home, you're gonna need appliances. If you're just gonna be an investor, you know, you obviously don't have to supply appliances, uh, but you know, kitchen's pretty nice, you can use a new countertop, it's got the retro look going, you know, you can probably just paint the cabinets. Uh, you got some carpeting in here, you know, it kind of shows its age a little bit. Some sliding glass cabinets here, uh, you know, looks like we got some updated uh, wiring, but uh, we've got some other stuff that's not. We got a two prong over here. Uh, use can use a new countertop. You know, some people are looking for these uh, type of cabinets. They want to install them back into their houses, but uh, you know, if you need to blow the floor out, get some ceramic tile or some wood in here also. Let's go take you downstairs. From the kitchen, come in the front door, we got the living room, nice big living room. Uh, it's got the, some of the shag style carpet still. Uh, it, it'll clean up well if you want to leave it, if that's what you're into. Other than that, uh, you know, we'll have to call Lowe's and get some carpeting put in. Out the back, you got a little screened in porch area, and the screen's all tore out on it, so we need to get that repaired. A lot of the windows have been replaced. Uh, they're not new, but they're you know good double pane, uh, so you're gonna get some kind of uh, insulation value out of them. So coming down the hallway here, we got three bedrooms, decent sized bedrooms. We're gonna show you. You know we don't have no lights. Uh, you know it's a foreclosure, so all the utilities have been turned off. So we're gonna try to give you a look at the bathroom. Right in here, we got a cedar a closet, cedar line closet. Uh, I got your access to get into the uh, attic in here also. And beyond that, we're gonna come down to the bathroom that could be renovated. You know, it's got uh, wallpaper all on the walls. You can use tore down. You know, uh, it's got a, a dated vanity. Data toilet, uh, need new surrounds. It looks like it's one of them uh, one day uh, installations on the shower surround uh, for the bathroom. Carpeting on the floor, you know, needs to be taken down. So let's go ahead and move into the, uh, the big master bedroom here. Size of the bedroom here is 14 by 11. You know, it's good enough size, you know, for a master and a you know, average size home. Yeah, got some clean fans and don't need a whole lot of work in here. You have paint as you want. This is one of the other bedrooms here. Uh, you know, it's pretty small, but uh, I want to show you something in the closet here. Uh, got some hardwoods in here. So I, I, I don't know if that's an indication that there's hardwoods underneath the whole, all the carpeting, but there's a good chance there could be. So be something, uh, maybe all this carpet can be ripped up and re-sanded and refinished all the hardwoods. So, you know, and everybody's into the hardwoods. So let's go to one more bedroom and then we'll uh, finish up outside. This is the last bedroom right here. You know, again, we got, at least it's a decent sized closet. So, I mean, uh, you know, you're not in a small bedroom with a small closet, you're in a small bedroom with a decent closet. So. Again, we got all decent windows. You know, we got alarm system already installed, so you could probably get that service uh, continued with uh, Verizon or whoever it would be with. Let's go ahead and finish up outside, give you an idea. I think it needs some roof work, but we'll check it out. Okay, one thing we didn't get to show you downstairs in the basement is uh, due to the lighting, there's no utilities on. It's too dark down there to show you, but there's a finished uh, area down there that can easily turn into your little game room or uh, an additional family room. You know, a utility room, you got the furnace is not new, but it's not old. Um, it's not one of the newer high efficiencies, but it's a little bit better than, you know, having one of the, the old relics that sometimes come in these houses. Uh, you know, your laundry's down there and you got a garage down there. Um, other than that, we're going to take you outside just give you a quick, quick glimpse of what's going on. Outside of the house isn't a bad looking house. Uh, you know, a lot of brick, but there's some uh, 
siding in the front here. Can't see the roof real good, but you can see some moss on the uh, front edge here. And normally, uh, you need to get that taken off. Uh, you don't want that to deteriorate any more than it needs to be. Uh, other than that, we appreciate you uh, coming and checking out our foreclosure uh, video here. Uh, we're going to try to come back with you and as often as we can and show you what's going on in the Pittsburgh area. Thanks. I'm Nick Supic with ERA. Uh, catch you again later.